I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Congressman Earl Blumenauer urged Congress to act to lower baby formula prices on the House floor Friday. The baby formula shortage was spurred by COVID-19 related supply chain issues and a voluntary recall of infant formula from Abbott Laboratories. Blumenauer urged his colleagues to support the Formula Act, saying, quote, families have enough to worry about without worrying about how to feed their baby. This legislation would temporarily suspend, quote, tariffs on imported infant formula through the end of this year. Here's more on the bill from the Oregon Democrat. Gentlemen from Nebraska, Mr. Smith, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Oregon. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous materials on the bill under consideration. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. The news about supply chain disruptions have filled the news, but none is more compelling than the, and urgent for communities across America than facing challenges due to infant form shortage. This is an urgent issue for our families. Between supply chain issues due to pan the pandemic, the closure of a Michigan infant formula plant, out-of-stock rates have reached perilous levels. This out-of-stock rate was 31% in mid-April and rose to 90% in 10 states by the end of May. In my state, in Oregon, we faced an out-of-stock rate higher than 85%. And while these numbers alone tell a horrific story, there's no number that can capture the fear and frustration felt by families who are searching for formula to serve their babies. As a parent and grandparent, I can assure you that there's nothing as anxiety and anger inducing as not being able to properly care for your child. I've heard stories of families going store to store or posting on social media asking for help as they find the formula their family needs. Families have enough to worry about without worrying about how to feed their baby. The federal government must provide the support needed to help these children and families and explore every possible option. This administration in Congress has made significant progress by invoking the Defense Production Act, increasing the flexibility for the WIP program, and easing restrictions on import to fill supply chain shortages. And while the FDA has exercised enforcement discretion to increase imports, imported infant formula remains subject to high tariffs. These tariffs which increase the costs of the formula imports by an estimated 27% can only exaggerate the suffering families face at this time. It's unacceptable that families would be taxed on a product that they need and have no other way of getting in the midst of this crisis. Our Ways and Means Trade Subcommittee is committing to leveraging our jurisdiction to reduce these costs. I especially appreciate my colleague Suzanne Dubeni uh, for her partnership and leadership on this legislation. She was integral to this effort, and we wouldn't be here today without her. The Formula Act reaffirms Congress's constitutional authority to regulate commerce for foreign nations by temporarily suspending tariffs on imported infant formula through the end of this year. This change should help make formula more affordable and accessible for families in every state. I'm grateful for the support of Ranking Member Neal, uh, Chairman Neal, Ranking Member Brady, Ranking Member Smith, who's managing the bill for the Republicans, and the Ways and Means Committee in bringing this bipartisan legislation to the forum today. I urge my colleague to support the legislation, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman